episodes and a couple of extra minutes. Well, I started the podcast. <laughs> nice output. We did weekly. Yeah. Okay. We did weekly for okay. a year and a half. So, so okay. I guess I, I've caged you. I've put you. You're stuck. You're gone. I can't. <laughs> what? You can start that again if you like. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Woosa. <laughs> Okay, yeah, give labor to your uh, Okay, so this Try is meditation, Bill. Yes. I think yeah. <laughs> we're podcasting right now. So this is the small boys podcast. <laughs> the coolest, <laughs> okay. the non problematicest podcast. And we're the most capitalist podcast in Kansas City. It's true. Fuck we support yeah. social democratic ideals in, in an attempt because we believe capitalism works. <laughs> sure do. So I'm here. I'm Bill Bennett. We're doing the Small Boys podcast. <laughs> I'm with Pat McCarthy and Hillary Holt. You know, thanks for having me, Bill. Yeah, Hillary, are you happy to be here? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so usually, <laughs> but I'm, yeah, you're on about so, the exact same track as all uh, the other guests. Okay. So you know, I thought about like. You know, I want to talk about like Hillary, like where she came from, and like like how she get into all these like a uh, show based avenues. How I say like entertainment business yeah. based avenues, but I thought talking about our personal relationship would be much more interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay. I don't know why I'm having a hard time speaking. Yeah. So, um, you know, Hillary, um, I feel like I've been nothing but kind to you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I've let you inside my house. Uh huh. Inside. My mother's Chinese food. Yes. You know what I mean? You, did. you also did come give me a rag because I need it. Yeah. I'm having car trouble. Did you? Right so. <laughs> you haven't done shit for me, dude. <laughs> I, think, I mean, but also, remember. Minutes. Remember. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> what did you do for dinner? <laughs> I gave Bill's, you Chinese food. You're a little racist. <laughs> you didn't mean to be. I'll give you, I'll give you uh, grace for your brain i feel like uh, but also race- what did you say <laughs> i feel like racism requires intent <laughs> i feel like racism is a thought it's not an action that's actually fair because i don't know that you've ever said anything with intent <laughs> in the time i've known you i'm intentionally funny and i intentionally sl- slay puss <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this <laughs> wrong <laughs> we're doing it so yeah i mean um i was like so my mom she's a great woman a, a wonderful woman i respect her so much and because of my respect for her that uh it's like trickle down women loving and it goes down to all the women in my life yeah you know what i mean and then I, they're like i see them all as like my mother um and uh <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, so my mother, kind of she Ed Kemper thing. I, I was like, I just let, let's see where it goes. <laughs> so she, she's, she's good at cutting, and she has watermelons, and then um, she cuts up the watermelons, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. lets me eat some, mm-hmm. and then she's like, oh, I made some Chinese food for your friends. That's mm-hmm. how she talks. That's how she sounds. Mm-hmm. And then she's, she's like, there's some watermelon in the fridge. And then I open the fridge. I was uh-huh. like, wow. It's like fruit. Hillary uh-huh. loves tea. She probably loves <laughs> herbal type things. She likes meditation. So uh-huh. I was like, hey, Hillary, you seem like a watermelon gal. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want some watermelon? And then did, I, you, did you realize what you said until we, before or after we pointed it out? Um, I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's like uh-huh. it would be more racist uh-huh. um, if I didn't say anything. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? H- have you seen Get <laughs> Out? <laughs> yes, I've seen Get Out. So you know they're like they're like we love black people. Yeah, but with a wink. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're racist. You know what I mean? Yeah. They but, would, yeah. they, the people in Get Out would be like, don't talk about watermelon around him. You know what I mean? No. You know what I mean? The watermelon 
the watermelon, I feel like, is a metaphor. And the metaphor is for being racist. And I saw their watermelon because I saw who you are truly on the inside and nothing beyond that. Hell, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I live in a post-racial society. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll let it. Well, I'm... We'll let it slide. You, I'll let you okay. on your own time. So that you can so, do it later. You gotta work Google, out your own um, what Google watermelon stereotype. Though it is funny, just like stereotypes that they form sometimes. Because actually, watermelon is actually very good for like capillaries and blood. Um, I think like blood flow. I forget exactly the fact, but also then um, people who are black <laughs> or African American descent have um, like high blood pressure or like those types of issues. So actually, watermelon is helpful to eat. Uh, for your bodies um but <laughs> also yeah it's just funny how stereotypes may be a form and i think <clears throat> I, this is good because i have a theory too because um i think asian men are very feminine uh -huh. because there's estrogen in the goddamn tofu you know what i'm saying yeah this is soy yeah soy All i'm soy. I, I'm, I'm you know and there's nothing bad with that you know i'm a, I'm a soy boy you know what i mean <laughs> soy boy and i'm a watermelon girl <laughs> Yeah, we got a Burger King boy. Burger King. He he brings his. I'm, I'm the gout man. He brings his son. You're gonna bring your son oh, yeah. to Burger King. We're like, uh, well, we don't have any time, so let's get some Burger King. Yeah, it's always. I mean, Burger King's pretty good. I like their chicken nuggets. Really? Yeah. Nuggets, yeah. Actually, they are surprisingly to me surprisingly good nuggets. Mm. Those Burger King. Nuggets. You like fried food? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I like. I just eat. Do you want to ask me if I like fried chicken? She's <laughs> 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 got this vibe got, from you. Like. I saw that pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he goes. He, he goes. He goes. Do you like fried food? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask me about? My profession now. <laughs> keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the LinkedIn. So, I do um, need to do a professional comedy LinkedIn. Like, you know, like so, performer. Uh, you do. You have a show called As You Wish. Yeah. It's monthly. Yeah. Uh, we're taking a break right now. Um, just yeah. Suchi and I both have just a lot of stuff going on, but um, but you can just tell me to move it closer. <laughs> So did some microphone adjusting yes. um but uh, yeah as you wish uh it's a monthly show the last sunday of each month with uh, myself and should you sing and um we do stand up and improv hybrid show um we started it at um uh, casey wineworks and then the last couple to winter break <laughs> and then last couple runs for a second we're in strawberry hill so um that's really interesting because you know well, I was thinking, so you could, I could do my gay jokes, mm -hmm. or my pussy jokes, mm -hmm. or my n-word jokes. Um, well, for our show, <laughs> and then uh, I could do chair jokes, and then that that's like a double hitter. You know what I mean? Like it's like a it's like a double fisting of comedy. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay. You just get four I'll categories, just, though. I was just giving you ideas. So chair humor. That's improv yeah and then my sad liners that's hard-hitting stand-up oh wait, just just yeah no, just, but yeah just pitching you I ideas understand. i understand what you were trying to do um but yeah we also we have audience suggested um themes for each month as well so it gives a challenge to yeah um comedians if they want to or stand-ups to um write different jokes um and then i just do the improv parts so we just pick other different games or um do some like log like a long form set that's just usually a montage it's easy um yeah that's cool yeah, um it's pretty fun i mean and we do a charity each month a different one kansas city isn't as on a comedy or all this stuff isn't as big as people would think like it's good it's good to have variety and just good to be be able to work with people that are like doing collaborative stuff that being said mm -hmm. <laughs> i tried to come to your show one time and I was oh, yeah. denied. Because it was at Casey Weinworks, you had to be 21. Uh, which I am. Yeah. Actually. Are you 21 now? Yes, I'll actually have the. I'll show you my ID. Okay. But, uh, you know, 
I'll be, be like, I thought it was personal, Hillary. No, it was because of the age. The place wouldn't let anyone in under 21. But there were other shows that you could have come to because it was 18 and older. I would have done it for personal reasons. So Hillary, you, I mean, you got your money back. <laughs> I gave you a refund. <laughs> he, 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 he like bought a ticket and showed up, and he couldn't get in. No, he bought a ticket. I realized it, and then told them like uh, Instagram. I was like, "Oh, hey, you can't come, bud. Sorry about it." That happened to me one I'm pretty time. Sure I messaged you. Yeah. When I was 15, I tried to get into a Macklemore concert. We already had the tickets. Yeah. And they were like, eight, "You got to be 18." Where was it at? I think Power and Light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, such a strange place that Power and Light. Try to strange a guy that Macklemore. Yeah, that's hard on match, but I'll take your word on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, um, do you mind if I leak our DMs? Oh, oh, that when I just was mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> Legal. I mean, <laughs> he told me I was just like I don't remember what I was doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just being a brat. So I was just like, it's like. I remember talking about with the former podcast host Jory. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Remember, I did this with Jory. Oh yeah, the vegan. And um, and he was just like, "It's something I've noticed about you, Bill. Like, people like being mean to you for <laughs> no reason." No. Um, and then I was like, "Hey, I just remember, yeah, twenty one plus one more. Thank you for buying or if you on your ticket account." And then I said, it's the thought that counts. And I said, execute me. I don't know what that was about. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, because I thought it was personal. I don't oh, know. no. It's literally because you were not older. No, I heard. I thought, it's not like that I thought it was personal. But like, uh, I thought you got, I thought you got like at least a little bit of like perverse joy out of doing it. You know what I mean? No, I felt very bad. I was like, oh, no. I felt no, bad. You, you I, I, never, yeah. I never assumed anything. But I, I just, I like being dramatic and like thinking it was like the worst thing possible mm-hmm. uh, so i post a meme so this was on january 2nd <laughs> of 2022 i remember what why was, what time was did it say at time this was 9 p.m hmm. okay <laughs> unless you were hampered i don't think i don't think and then so. i post this it's a twitter on, uh, tweet. Yeah. It's on a your Twitter story. Tweet. And I replied to your story. And it, uh, <laughs> caption, it goes, My phone's so dry. I'm starting to think that I'm that N word everyone said they were going to cut off in 2022. I was like, Oh, that's funny. That's self depreciating. And then Hillary goes, Lol, for you, probably, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. <laughs> Uh, double down yeah. and then i went ouchie <laughs> <laughs> we should do like a dramatic reading <laughs> you went you're welcome yeah do you guys want to read this like oh, as yeah. each other's rules oh as okay we'll flip flip it oh i gotta yeah. find the uh january 2nd january 2nd that's before it started. The day after New Year's. I don't... Yeah, I'm a comedy old head. Mm-hmm. Do you want to start it? <laughs> okay, I'm reading... January 2nd, 9.07 p.m. Uh, You're reading my part and I'm reading yours? No, I'm reading my part. Oh, okay. So, Instagram back. meme said, Phone's so dry, I'm starting to think I'm that N-word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone mm-hmm. said... They was going to cut off in 2022. LOL. For you, probably. Definitely. Uh, Ouchie. You're welcome. Wait. I can't tell if you're like subliminally dissing me, but you're usually nice. So thank you. I'll let you decide, bud. You're welcome. (laughs) How how could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I've got nowhere to run. I texted that. <laughs> and a uh, uh, heart emoji. <laughs> Just heart it. <laughs> uh, and then that was it. And then you asked me to be on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you let the wound heal and he was yeah, like, all right. Like, all right. Well, I mean, she was like. Well, I think I yeah, might have asked. But well, it's just my ego, I think. 
sometimes. I think we talked, and no, I just I thought it was like I felt so much better after we talked. And she's like, I don't like you, but that's okay. No, did I? I didn't say that. You, you said you thought. You said, I think. So my understanding. I think sometimes I just say your energy stresses me out. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, but uh, you're so fine. I just be take into consideration uh, your age. What? I take into consideration that. Hmm. Do you want me to sit closer? <laughs> I don't know. You just sound weird. Are you sound like? Get a better mic. I don't know, man. <laughs> Speak. I'm talking. Talk. Hello. Hello. That's probably better. Okay, we fixed it. This is the most professional podcast in Anne Carey. At least we have three mics, okay? Aaron Scarborough can suck it, okay? <laughs> he has one mic that he shares with multiple people, okay? His girlfriend won't even follow me back, okay? They're <laughs> fake, okay? Because I'm not fucking Marxist. Have you had an actual conversation with her for her to follow you back? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Does she know who you are? Correct. <laughs> She laughed at one of my Instagram messages. <laughs> really? Okay. But you know, I I liked. I thought my reputation preceded me. You know. Mm-hmm. I thought I mattered. You know. Um, Are you about to have a I, breakdown? I I, I met <laughs> no. her. I met her once, Sorry. and Aaron complimented me about my comedy. Yeah. Nice. So maybe she re- remembers me. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you said you can never um, keep your facial expressions to yourself. Sometimes, usually. Well, sometimes I can like do that like HR thing of just keeping a blank face. But it depends on the situation, if I like need to. Is or the... I keep somebody's secrets. Because I keep secrets. I'm really good at keeping secrets. So this is in the context of like like real life conversations, not like, like yeah. on stage. Like... Are you... I guess you answered no. that question. I was thinking, like, yeah. in my head, I didn't know if it was like that or if it was talking about, like, breaking. Uh, I think I do that for both. Sometimes I can keep it together. Sometimes I can't on stage. And mm-hmm. then <clears throat> regular life, yeah, usually I will, my face will um, speak before I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless I have to be like, okay. And then, right, like right. a poker face. Sometimes you can, like, fucking mm-hmm. settle down. Well, is that the Control reason? My emotions. Is that the reason why all I see in your face is disgust, Hillary? <laughs> is, it, is it what my face looks like right now? Yeah, is that what you should see? I feel see? like. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's my face being trying to be patient. <laughs> is that how that reads? <laughs> yeah. <Bad. laughs> trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, that's actually, I think I'm just doing a lot of what's in my brain. And so it's kind of just like, okay. So I'm not publicly gay but, uh, but am i gay enough i don't know okay i just i don't know why i don't know i just sorry i just are you is it like uh, wait sexual preference or are you gender would you consider yourself a, a, a queer voice no i don't know you're just you're in a <laughs> show about queer voices yeah there were um I was asked to be in it, first thing. <laughs> uh, I don't just go into a space that's not for me and be like, I yes, I should be in here. I was asked to be in it, and my character was like a goddess, so I didn't have to have. And there were, it was called um, Alphabet Soup. That was a series of short plays written by queer voices. Yeah, so ours was zero feet away of me being the like angel and then my counterpart being like the demon of Grinder. And then trying to get these two guys to be on a date. Mine's like, date. And the other one's just like, no, don't. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but was um, like, there was. When was that? Uh, This was back in April. So it was like a toe dip into like theater stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. So do you, um, what is your thoughts on bisexual men? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So if I you, think if, I hope yeah. If you're dating a man, he's like I'm bisexual. Uh huh. You wouldn't just dump him immediately. No. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has that happened to you? No, it's oh. uh, it's just I've heard stories <laughs> yeah. of it. Of 
I, in fact, there was a, you know, I listen to women. Mm-hmm. So I listen to women talk. I heard, I heard there's an entire table of women being like, I would not date a bisexual man, you know. You know, I don't, I don't want a man who's had it up the ass. You oh. know what I mean? Oh. Okay, I just, I don't know. There was somewhere I was going to go with that. But uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad, I'm just trying to, you know, vibe check you. Yeah. Are you trying to cancel me because you've already been canceled for this podcast? <laughs> I'm taking you all down with me. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking. You know, we want a, we want a non problematic queen. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're a queen. I, yeah, oh. I mean, um, that was a test you passed. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. good transition. Uh, how much can you deadlift? <laughs> uh it's been a while. I haven't gone to the gym since the pandemic. Um, I mean the pandemic. The pandemic. The ponderosa. <laughs> the panini. Uh, yeah. Um, how much? Last time I deadlifted. Mm, I know for sure at least forty five because that's how much the bar weighs. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember the last time I deadlifted. We, can, I we, actually, squat, we squat actually have anymore. a bar in the studio if you'd like to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah. You know they say deadlifts probably at least a hundred. I don't remember. You were talking to us earlier. Uh-huh. Watermelon is like a superfood, so you just you know what I mean. I I could probably deadlift two hundred pounds right yeah. now. It's also good for hydration too. Because it's a and it's in in Chinese it's water fruit. Oh, that yeah. makes a lot more sense. Yeah. What does melon even it's mean? The same amount of no. sense. Yeah, because melon that's mostly water. But why don't someone mention like green fruit or pink fruit? Pink green fruit. I'll be honest, I wasn't as prepared as I'd like to be. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, what's your favorite uh black business? Uh, for Casey or Oliver? Yeah, just Casey, Casey. I guess. Um, definitely like Ruby Jean's Juicery, uh, over on um Truce, which is I. The owner, Chris Good, is trying to get it to be called True, Truth Street, um, just because Truce was a former uh, slave owner, slave master. Did you know? know that. Yeah. I was actually like Westport used to be Slaveport. I feel like. Yeah, there's um, Racism in Kansas City, a short story, not written by a um, black person, but he did a lot of research. Um, but that's, I think that's available at Prospero's. True. Local bookstore, not black owned, yeah. but I don't know, available other places. I'll be honest. <clears throat> I like black and brown bookstore. I'll, I'll be honest, like um, when I was younger, I like had a really weird um, view of black people because like I just hadn't met them. Mm-hmm. Honest to God, but I listened to a lot of Tupac. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I took the no because I always saw them. As, I don't know. I just I I just haven't met them and like I don't know. I just I lived in fucking you were Joko. You, you, okay, were you like prepping? No, I was I'm just gonna like meet one eventually. No, I just like I don't know. It's just like I had a very like positive view for, of them, but I just like I I hadn't really met a lot of them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, because I lived in China, then I lived right here. And then oh, there's, okay. There's no. I tell you what, I, I kind of had the same thing because because I lived in Canada, then I lived here, so I kind of had like a similar situation where I was like later in life where I I like where... especially like, uh, gay people too. Uh, <laughs> Well, I grew up, I grew up, I did, went to Catholic school as a kid, so I didn't know gay people were, like, really, like, real until I was, like, 14. Uh, okay. You know, I How thought it was, like, a one in a million thing. Uh, like, five years, like, age four to age nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Were you born here and then there and then born, back? Yeah, born in OP, moved uh, to the Toronto area, moved back. Okay. Yeah. Bill, you were, were you born here and then China and then back? Oh, Latha then went to China. Then. Uh, it was, um... No, but then it's just like I had this like super like super positive view, mm-hmm. and now it's just like I I don't know what to think. It's so it's so weird. It's so weird. It's, it's like I don't know. It's so hard to divorce people from like ev- all the labels around them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why yeah, you should look more at like how people are instead of what people but, are. But but I did take the psychology bias test mm-hmm. test, and it did say I I love black people. You know what I mean? Uh huh. <laughs> it said now. like higher, higher like association with black people. That, uh, like I have a positive higher like slightly higher positive association with black people, and I have a neutral positive association with white people. Mm-hmm. You okay. know what I mean? 
And then, um, also, uh, did you ever think I was black? No. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I just wondered if that was like, uh, I guess, even if I was black, you know, because skin is just a color, you know what I mean? You would feel, (laughs) you would feel no, um, you would, I don't feel like you, I feel like you would disown me, you know what I mean? You'd you'd be like, because I would be that guy that everyone. I'm also, I'm half white. Yeah. Yeah. Biracial. <laughs> Biracial. Let's tingle hands. Yeah. Is that is that cool? Do you feel pulled by two sides? So, sometimes, but it's yeah. I mean, it's a weird uh, or a cool like in between space. If that makes sense, mm-hmm. to be like okay, you can see where both are. It's interesting. Yeah. A unique perspective. Yeah. Yeah. That's also like, can I be one thing? What's a name? For me, that means me. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there is one, but it's deep, it's rooted in racism. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. There's a word for everybody, but it's rooted in racism. <laughs> yeah, usually in this. Yeah, this be fun. Yeah. Um, I thought it was like, oh, that's exotic, and then I was like, learning what about it, it. Oh. I was just like, oh no. I just mind. hit my mic. You think Whatever. about it, racism is a pretty diverse concept. There's yeah. racism for everybody. Uh, just, you, you ever know, watch this is weird i don't know strong for some cracker we don't have thank you <laughs> i was thinking mick yeah oh yeah um you know what i mean you ever watch dear white people yeah <laughs> so what did you think what did you think of the you watched the movie or the tv show uh i watched both so I, it's been a while i liked the I mean, I like the movie. I kind of like that idea. Um, like I remember talking to, I have, <laughs> I have black friends, um, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he was just like, "Well, that's like a, it's kind of like a, it's like an academic situation. It's more like an elite." He said, "Like that's elite yeah. blacks." Yeah. Um. Somewhat. Yeah. I, I, and then he, uh, I thought it was really interesting because it wasn't. It was. I don't know. I, I thought it was like truthful. It's, it's about like kids and um. I feel like a a historically his, black college, or at least section of the college. Yeah, they have like their their uh, section. It's been predominantly predominantly black section. Tell me if I'm wrong, because you know what I mean. I love, um, you know, I'm gonna tell a black woman's story right now. So, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so there's this like half, um, is oh, this is a great is is red bone is offensive. That's offensive, is it? Maybe I don't know. Red bone, the song. Red I, bone. Well, because it's describing like there's like red bone, yellow bone, and it's more about you know, like your pigment. Yeah, because I was like red, red, red bone chick. <laughs> they're like that's offensive, and I was like, I don't know. That's what they called themselves. But then they're like, would you do that with the n word? And I was like, I don't know. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> I don't like, know. I grew up white, white, <laughs> for for the most part. Mm. So I'm just like, uh huh. I'm also learning these things. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's this like red. They call her red bone. So it's like half white, half black chick, and then like she kind of like she kind of makes like um being it's being black is very important to her. Black power, black. Mm-hmm. She has like this radio show where she kind of does like pro black messages and. Oh, are you talking about dear white the people? Show dear white people, Sam. Yeah, and the then um, there's this idea of that like oh, there's these like there's these um black people who like want to like they kind of they want to do success. They want to like. Uh, they want to work that extra mile that they have to work because they're like a black person working in society and they want they will put up with like systemic individual like racism um and they kind of want that like that extremist message to like down down like that um that like fighting i don't know what some people would call like mm-hmm. an uncle tom or um oh okay like, like um what's his the, it's so hard to explain the dean's but son the dean's son's like fighting her like name. hey you shouldn't be saying these things it's like upsetting people yeah um and she's like also like trying to find him, like oh i'm speaking the truth and there's it's like it's like it's sort of like campus drama but it's like the idea of like um mm-hmm. who those people are and like why their feelings and why they do what they do i thought it was uh really interesting and culture that i've never really been exposed to mm-hmm. even now it's like i don't really go to college or live in an over majority black community but um my understanding was that like um by the end of the movie she learns that like while these causes are important like she shouldn't uh, let her identity like choose the re- the course of the rest of her life right yeah 
There you go. Okay, I took it right. And yeah. the opposite of racist. <laughs> um, the TV show was good when it was like, it just got into drama. Yeah, I liked it the first two seasons. I forget how many seasons there are. The first, there's there's like four or three or four now. It's fucking four crazy. Five, yeah. It's like 13 Reasons Why. That didn't even, like, a second season didn't even be made. Now it's just like, it, <laughs> it's so funny. Season? They made multiple they... seasons. Oh, multiple? Of 13 Reasons Why. It's so funny. <laughs> um, Like someone... Tyler, one of the guys is like a school shooter, and like on the second or third seasons, one of the guy like oh. murders another kid in the second or third seasons. Kind of like um underwrites the entire purpose of that TV show, but you know it's pretty the cool. Sh- that season, it's the, about the first season. Is, it's about somebody's suicide. Which yeah, I don't even know if it's like you should do like something like that where it's like oh there there's a reason why they committed suicide when it like like saying like oh like you caused it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's okay, this is too I mean, serious. Yeah, <laughs> say this yeah you can talk about anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too serious. You know what? You know, I'm like gay, but I'm like also not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so like, I'm so like, I want to do gay jokes on stage, but I'm like so anti performative gay that like I won't even say I'm gay. You know what I mean? Okay, I think. You know what I mean? Wait. Uh, you... So like, you talk about like saying, like talking about doing gay things, but without saying without that you the are experience, gay. Um, or or just saying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Can I can I just be a goddamn human being? You oh, I mean? okay. So you don't want to like identify this, specifically. This like um, it's like someone came up to me recently. It's like I love to be like 10, 15 minutes inside your head. It's like I feel like. I'm just the same. <laughs> I feel like I'm a goddamn human being. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking crazy. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's just, I have, there's the same, I have to deal with the same problems that you do. I just have different solutions. Okay, Hillary. Yeah, I think so. breathing would help. <laughs> with some Start there. Start there. Is it do just boundaries? Do boundaries now. I start boundaries. setting boundaries now. I, I try to, but it's like, um, I just, I don't know. It just it's so important to me that you Are know, you worried that if you set a boundary that someone won't like you? No, it's just like okay. it's it's hard to do everything at once. It's like cuz I kept thinking like, "Oh, like oh, if it's like oh, I'll, if be like I it's not the problem that like I stayed late at work and I picked you guys up late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry." Right. But yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that like that I was late. It's that like I didn't know when I was going to be late because I couldn't properly like manage my time. Mm-hmm. Um and but the boundaries things it's like i don't know i feel like i push people's boundaries but i i, I think it's for fun like what 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 makes you uncomfortable about it i don't know like, just you're ever you're unpredictable i can think I, can i answer this question yeah oh okay most of the time when you come up to me to say something you put your hand on my shoulder <laughs> and i don't like that okay um I'll stop. It's, <laughs> it's, it's is, not up. Sometimes oh, I'm just trying to follow what's happening. And I can't ooh, always. Can, can I also, can I say another thing? Uh, this is more of a story. One time uh, I, I, I I did a set at the Empire. It was my first time doing 15 minutes. <laughs> uh-huh. And afterwards, I was talking to a girl at a bar. And like, it was going pretty good. And then Bill just walks straight up to me. And he puts his hand on my shoulder and he goes, hey, do you have an Instagram? <laughs> And I was like, what are you doing? Is- and he's no. like, I'm helping. <laughs> this is not what happened. This is not what happened. What happened? What what I, you, you're what talking to this you, girl. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, like, that was so great, man. You're so funny. Like, do you have an Instagram? <laughs> oh, you were trying to hype him <laughs> he, up. He was trying to hype me up. And by the way, I was doing jokes. <laughs> <laughs> <I> was- <laughs> you know, it's like... Um, Treat people how you like. You'd want to be, be treated, treated. Mm-hmm. but nobody, nobody likes me. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Nobody's like me. No, I get what you mean. I'll stop touching you. That's good. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop shoulder. touching you. I can, I can, I can listen to that. No, it's like um, I'm a very physical person, and um, if I come to with somebody, is that your love language? And it's also it's like it's so that like you can know that I'm talking to you without being too forceful. I hope it's not. I'm not like. No, 
else is pincering you, Emma. What what boundaries do you have that you would like people to respect? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't grope me. <laughs> Has that uh, happened? Ah. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. Yeah. Let me down softly. <laughs> that's that's uh. I don't really. Those are you prefer to receive information. I don't know. I just want to make people happy, okay? If I don't yeah. make somebody happy, I'll stop. Just like, it's not the people that don't like me that's the problem. It's the people that don't like me and hang around me or people that don't like me and don't tell me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, I can navigate around anybody. Everything I do is to make people happy for the most part. So I'll stop. It's not like, I'm not like... Well, you also have to accept the fact that you can't make everyone happy. So well, you, yeah, are you making yourself pe- happy? People have to accept the fact... People have to accept that fact. You know what I mean? Out there for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed like the last 20 seconds. That's fine. No, people have but, to accept the fact that I can't make everybody happy, but I'm trying to. You know what I mean? Yeah. People have to accept that. Like, people just be like, hey, like, I don't enjoy that. People have yeah. to, I don't. But are you putting the, that pressure on yourself? Like, you're it. putting that pressure on yourself I, to make I, other you, people happy. I like having fun. I like having fun. You should also yeah. accept that you can't make everybody happy, though. And yeah. Are you going to listen to Pat say it now? Because I, I said the exact I, same I, thing. I just, I just <laughs> want just to try my. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I want to try my best. Yeah, that's all I, I all I like and do. I mean, I just keep trying my best. But yeah, we'll go back to the question pleasure. though. Are you making yourself happy? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What was that fucking like half-assed? Yeah. But are yeah. you making yourself happy more I'm than happy. you're trying to make other people happy? It, it's it's just like it's I'm like a process. It's like all this shit, all this work, you know, all this traveling. It's like I'm always yeah. trying to get to the next level, and that takes a lot of work. And as much enjoyment I do get out of accomplishing things and making people happy, there is I put in work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put some respect on my goddamn name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking <laughs> like that. I love that. <laughs> No, I mean, I'll stop touching. You can just tell me. No, have, this, this is, what is this? What, is this, is this, am I actually getting canceled? Bill's <laughs> touching me. Is this the last episode? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does that actually make you comfortable? I don't know. Mildly. I mean, it's, it, it, <laughs> it's, it, I think it's also you and we're close. So like, I'm not going to say anything about it, but like, sometimes I'm like, it's fucking my i'll stop i'm sorry i'll stop but it's like i like it because it, it is like personal it's close and it's like um i can like it's kind of like i can communicate with you without like being loud and i can also like i do appreciate that you know what i mean it's like i put my hand it's like hey, i'm talking to you you know what i mean yeah i'm I, i'm also younger i also i realize that um i'm trying to be the best but it's like i also feel like the core personality of who i am won't really change in a few years but probably the way i operate will does yeah. that make sense yeah <laughs> Just you, ways. Ha- you might be shocked how much you change from the age of like 18 to 22 i'm yeah. sure it'll be the same from me being um 14 to 18 yeah but i'm just saying the core person yeah I'm just saying that's a 14, well, 14 to 18. 14 18, you're stuck, also stuck in the same environment. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess. I with, very, with a lot of restrictions I, for I, the most part. But I'm saying like for you, eight I, hours I, a day. I still feel like I changed a lot. And I also didn't go to school. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's about, yeah. But, um, college, you don't have to. Yeah, you, don't have to. <laughs> you don't, you don't have, have to go to, to. school. I did. Yeah. I went to, well, I did community college. I have a, my degree is called an Associate of Applied Science and Apparel and Textiles Design and Product Development. That's cool. Which is just, you yeah, make, which is just fashion. You make carpets? Fashion. Uh, fashion. <laughs> you make carpets. Textile, and, and I was like, okay. We went to community college, so it's like got a sound fancy. Do you, right. Nice. Do, you, <laughs> do you like my fashion, Hillary? Do you like the clothes I wear? Do it's you fine. I do like the shirt. Do you, 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 you know, I like, I dress up in like fun outfits a lot. Do you not notice that? She's, she doesn't look at it. She well, tries I'm to avoid it. All the time. <laughs> you know what he wore the other night? What? He, he wore a, uh, uh, he had a like a like a polo shirt with a bow tie, uh-huh. tucked into sweatpants. <laughs> Where were you at? Comedy club. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't um, know. how do I say? Um, mm-hmm. You're marketing yourself accurately. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're presenting. Yeah. I'm an hourglass. <laughs> you know what I mean? I you tip me to one side, and sand falls out. You know what I mean? Um, so. I actually know exactly okay. what that means. Yeah. Um, no, um, you know, I touch people only to make them more comfortable. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and I am making myself happy. What is this? An intervention? God damn. <laughs> Every episode I've been on has turned into a bit. <laughs> <laughs> might, I might be the problem. 
I mean, mm-hmm. you're like, you're like, you know what? My these podcast clips are getting likes. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I've completed life. Okay, uh-huh. okay, and I just got a match on Tinder, and she lives 160 miles away. There we go. Why Road you, trip. Why is, yeah, <laughs> dude, I could. Dude, I've driven to Wichita for comedy. I can drive over there for some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hillary. Okay. You Hillary rocks. That's what I've come up with. But the title of this podcast will still be Hillary Holt Hates Me. I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate. I try not to hate anyone. There's just some people that I don't don't i feel like if you with, try if i still so talk just, to you like, rather avoid yeah i'm just know. like not for me i've right, learned right. let me go okay and I've, then but i can't being fake makes me very uncomfortable so <gasps> i'm just like i won't so if i'm talking to someone like if i'm approaching someone then yeah definitely yeah if i'm letting someone approach me and i'm still talking i get that i would be like yeah i get oh, that because like, when you talk tattoo. to you talk to somebody like that you either have to be fake or you have to be like a little cold yeah and it's and like I, I don't like doing either of those things yeah but sometimes yeah if i have to be cold it's not what i prefer because i prefer yeah. to like i've noticed like energies a lot so i try to um fill the space what with i do. positive as much as i can mm-hmm. but sometimes if i'm quiet i'm just like i will not be helpful if yeah. i don't if i don't like somebody or feel like they don't like me i'm either overly nice to them or i like i i feel bad i feel bad for them i like i try to like there's yeah. some way to navigate it like yeah. recently i've been so like in a weird mood because I'm like working all the goddamn time. Mm-hmm. Like, and these people aren't my friends. I don't hate them, but like, it's not like I You're in a, like them a either, space that you have to work together. Yeah. I mean, it's like, um, I, I don't know. It's like I'm either overly nice because I think that's funny, mm-hmm. <laughs> or like, um, you know, they're like, they're like a person like figuring themselves out, you know, as long yeah. as you, you appreciate that and then they'll appreciate it. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my tattoo, my no tattoo, no period. Uh, I appreciate that which you're not I got fake. This a as I like it there. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, but um, no tattoo. So we got this like to be therapeutic to just remember like no is a complete sentence. I'm still working on it. Um, that it's very freeing when you say it, and then in this way with a capital N, lowercase, o period. Uh, it's just stern. Mm-hmm. It's calm, but it's also stern. Just like no. Then it's yeah, figuring out who does who just gets to know, that, and then who I want to have more information because I you, care about them. I want them to understand. Right. Do you know, I do really hard to. I try to understand. Do you know what's also? I can. <laughs> uh huh. There's also a complete consent sentence. I just re- learned recently. It's yeah. I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like um, I was talking to this girl, sweet gal. She's like, you know, I think I might have autism. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she's like, can you believe that? Like. Donna dated Jack and then she dated AJ. It's like, I know none of these people. And I was just like, I don't care. You know? Donna, on what? <laughs> I don't know. Is it a it, show? It was just like a it was just like a random oh. person. Oh, okay. I felt like really powerful saying that to her. You know what I mean? Well, is it, there's a there's a girl like <laughs> I was hanging out with her. I was dating Donna. I was da- or, or Diana. Diana was the name. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, I was date. I was on a, up to be older. I was I was on a date with her, and she, mm-hmm. I was just like, I don't care, <laughs> and I felt super hurt, empowered by that. <laughs> it's like I was also on drugs too. Oh, I, I, it's like Which this one's Pepto again? Delta Eight. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you could buy that if it was illegal. No, yeah, that's the it's a She's like, loophole. She's like, let's go into the forest. Get get the car. <laughs> She's like, I got the base. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I spent about ten. The reason I didn't get any sleep last night, I spent about ten hours just double fisting mushrooms and fucking cold medicine. Oh no! <laughs> I had a great night. Yeah, yeah. This like guy mushrooms. is going to Dave and Buster's and getting introspective. Yeah. yeah. Um, I- I'm trying to work out this bit. You do stories, I do and stories. you are a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So. But see, this is why. See, with you, I just go okay. Let's see where it goes. That's usually so. My so I feel process. like you guys are both valuable perspectives. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So I'm talking. I see this. I see this girl on Tinder, right? And mm-hmm. she's like, "Oh, I like funny guys," and she's in like a wheelchair, right? Uh-huh. So I was like, uh, I matched with her, and I was like, "Did it hurt when you fell from heaven and broke your legs?" <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Did she like it? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Did she respond at all? Or she unmatched immediately? Well, in the bit that I'll be telling, I'll be like, it's 
Um, oh, okay. In the middle, I'll be telling. I'll be like, <laughs> safe to say, uh, I kind of like fucked around and found out, mm-hmm. and she she gets really good blowjobs. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm doing stories now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you stay out of my turf. So, it's actually pretty cool. You you got to see Black Klansman with yeah. a guest uh, as I, the screenwriter. Yeah, I was, because um, when I was having the podcast, and before that, it was at um, Screenland Armor. Um, so, the link up was, we were doing a... Um, Q and A with my friend's um, stepdad because he was one of the lead detectives on the Bob Berdella case, Kansas City Butcher. Um, so there was like um, we watched a little documentary thing. I think, yeah, I think that's how it went. It was a while ago. Um, and then I just kind of moderated the Q and A with people in the crowd, and then um, they were doing a screening with um, Kevin Wilmot, a uh, writer for Blind Clansman, a co-writer with Spike Lee. Um, yeah uh and um film critic sean edwards uh then was just working for fox four um i think he still does i just there's knowledge in here but it's not always all not always up to date right but um but yeah so they and then from that they just asked me if i wanted to um come back and uh just be on the panel because we watched watch the show got uh was able to have some tickets and people can come watched it and then just did a kind of q a from like our perspective and then kevin of course talking about like the film and stuff very no, cool yeah and that was, was at the, that was oh. the armor yeah screen armor so that's this a, was that's a really cool theater i, I saw my buddy had a, a short film premiere there once yeah yeah they're really yeah good yeah i want to ask i want to ask spike lee why that old boy remake he made was so shit you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking goddamn bad which one is that the There's... old boy remake with fucking oh josh brolin Okay. Drosh. <laughs> Drosh, bro. <laughs> Fucking Thanos. I need to get. They, they, it's, it's very bad. It's very bad. Okay. I always forget he was in the Goonies. He's also Thanos. Thanos. Yeah. Thanos. Thanos. Who was he in Goonies? He was one of the kids. In like the main group. Oh. Which one? I haven't seen it um, long enough to, to remember anyone. I only specific kid I remember. The Asian kid. And I remember the, the fat kid. I think is it, and sloth and sloth and then the main boy I forget is, his actual name but his face of him is it I true think that, i think that might have been brolin i think he might have been the main boy oh but I, I don't quote me on that i won't i won't I have to look there's so many things i have to google that i just haven't realized i have forgotten until it's asked mm-hmm. and then is, to that. Uh-huh. is it true that your venmo and cash app are both hilarious one two four yes Okay, I, just, I guess I want to get that out there. Okay, yeah, Hilarious 124. That's my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, all the things, because I found in fourth grade um, that in a book, because it had Hilarious in the book, but it cut off after the I. Um, so everyone, uh, I was a little slow, slow reading at, at that time for a second, and then I got back up to level. Um but uh they're like oh your name's in the book so i remember from like the fourth grade that you can't spell hilarious without my name Mm -hmm. and then it just happens to be oh my god uh, that's so perfect in that yeah and then one twenty. it's just january 24th is my birthday i wish i had a clever username like that yeah pat pat on your back mccarthy (laughs) patster the old patster Mm -hmm. the old patster (laughs) yeah the old the old the old patty man. My yeah. old Finsta was a low pat yogurt <sighs> way back in the day. Finsta. Do you ever that, do Finstas? No. So I think that was. So, you do not. Facebook? Yeah, I still on Facebook. Did Mace? Did Macebook? Mace? MySpace? I did MySpace. Yeah, I did MySpace. What's up on MySpace? Huh? What's up on MySpace? <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> MySpace. Because you had got your like you could do, was it your top eight? I think it was four, eight, or ten, and then like message boards. It was fine. Like top eight friends. Top eight friends. I think now it's just music, but so, it was like a thing. We if, had MySpace. Well, it's Zanga for like blogging thing, and then it was MySpace, and then Facebook. I think I got Facebook. If if we like were two thousand six, two thousand seven. If you think if we were both on um, MySpace in two thousand six, I'd be in your top eight. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hate, yeah, I didn't like that because it was like, who's on mine? Because then you'd also hope that if you put someone in your top eight, then they, they would put, put you, put you yeah. in theirs. And that was just a lot of pressure. Or you could add more. I'd be, I'd be the guy where it's like half or more of the top eights. Like, they're not, I'm not in their top eight. Yeah. It's okay. I think there was an option you could just not have them. I think for, yeah. I won't play anything. It's like, um, I've, I've been playing this thing. It's called Emily is Away. It's like simulating what it was like. It's like AOL chat rooms. Yeah, aim. And, and then one of the game, uh, one of the other games is about Facebook when it first started. Mm-hmm. It's really good because it's like you're kind of like practicing what it's like to Mac online because <laughs> oh. you're talking to these girls. <laughs> like one of the games is always fucked up, and then it's like, and then the second game you're talking to two girls at once. Very relatable, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Even right now, I'm talking to. So much work. I don't like dating. <laughs> It's like so a da- much work. Like dating simulation game? Sort of. It, and then, so, so how you. Like chat, the chat rooms? Yeah. About? Emily was okay. a way to how you lose or win is by like seducing one of the girls. Be- like, so they'll text you at the same time, like fucking trauma dumping over you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> trauma dumping you. And they'll be like texting you at the same time. And usually you can just respond to them back and forth. Is this a real game or was yeah, this a trend? It's a real game. Oh, okay. So they'll like, they'll text you back and forth and like, but they'll. They'll keep demanding responses faster and faster, and you can't do it at the same time. So you have yeah. to pick one, and then you have to tell like the girl about yourself, and then the girls will like meet up a year later and and like be friends. And if they like, they have because women are so cool, so they have like these sheets of like all the information you've told them. If it doesn't fall like if it doesn't match up, being like, oh, you lied to like try to get their affection. Oh, and then okay. they'll be like, "You lied to me," and then you. you'll break up <laughs> because that's just like real life. Because yeah. um, that's what I was saying. It's like I, I don't incels aren't bad because like um, they're misogynists. Like because there's, there's a bunch of uh, misogynists that like fuck. Incels are bad because they're misogynists and they're losers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they don't walk the walk you know what i mean yeah. i'm glad I, I thought there'd be more resistance from you but i guess well um <sighs> the worst part about incels is they're hypocrites yeah that's that's another thing it's like these incels you need to stop fucking it's so weird how it's like this woman's a fucking slut yeah then go have sex with her <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> like yeah. I, I don't understand. <laughs> like no, it's that's just another that thing. It's not you. But I yeah. am <laughs> the incel comic of Kansas City. <laughs> that is me. Yeah. You're the that projections. You're the bridge between our people. world and theirs. I'm gonna be. Um. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did you get into acting? <laughs> How'd you get into <laughs> acting? Yeah. Um. It's something I always wanted to do. Um, like when I was a kid, my, I wanted to be like a model, singer, actress, dancer. So I'm like 50% of that. Uh, but uh, let's see what I do. Just like freelance stuff here and there, but like 2012. So that was um, the sophomore ish college, well, community college. Still college. I still did my time. Yeah. Um, but. Um, yeah, just kind of stuff here and there. I forget exactly where it got connected. I think just like on Facebook somewhere, I think is where that started. Um, and then doing like modeling stuff here and there and you just meet more people. Um, but yeah, that. And then I got with an agent in 2014. So then that's just extra resources and doing um, like on camera audition class with the local casting director, um, Heather Laird with Right Laird Casting. Um, that, that that led me to improv, and then that took over a lot of things for about six years or so. But yeah, just being connected here and there with agent or just different projects and stuff. And then at Comedy City, we had uh, improv, but we also had like a sketch show. I've written sketches here and there. Do you, um, what do you think about like the relation is like stand up is to acting and stand up is to improv? Mm-hmm. Um, well, because improv. The advice for me is just like it's just helped make you be a better actor. It is an acting tool, 
Um, so I think that's why um, you're more, um, I want to say, more in demand, I think, when you have yeah. um, that improv on it. Because yes. sometimes I'll just get a casting specifically yeah. because I do improv. As opposed to stand-up where you're acting like a tool. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're like <laughs> there we go. that's yeah that's See, yeah but yeah because you that also depending on what you want to do with that and can like see and understand as you can jump you can be you can still act however you want have your on stage persona and your off stage yeah because like people like I, I think i'm really good at acting because people think um i'm a loser <laughs> But I'm actually like a great warrior. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. actually like an intellectual. Build like I understand area. systemic. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like if if me and the girl I'm talking to doesn't want to take down the patriarchy, then I don't want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good standard. And she was like, this. I was talking to this girl at work about. It. <laughs> you know, I was macking. I like <laughs> I like masculine women. I was telling people this. I was like, I'm Mac masculine. You know, I'm Mac mask. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, you know, like, I'm like, you're a working woman. Like, you, you defeated the patriarchy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about, what do you think about, like, house husband? What do you think about, like, what do you think about uh, feminine women? Feminine men? <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It should, there should be more. I feel like it's hard out here. Well, like, but- uh-huh, like a. You mean a house husband, so instead of housewife. So, like, the wife makes yeah. more and the husband stays home. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think... I love that idea. I think, yeah. I think um, women's place is in the workplace. When, oh, no. Men's place is in the workplace and uh, bisexual men are gay. That's what I think. Okay, I'm joking. <laughs> I do <laughs> not go. think that. I think it's... No, because I watched a video. I watched a video of, like, an entire table woman being, like... T- you know taking dick that's not masculine i don't want it whatever i don't know i just thought that was kind of crazy i just didn't think yeah, about it that's weird i don't know yeah i think you just let people do for the most part what they want as long as you're not murdering or causing them I, harm i i agree yeah. women are weird yeah um because they're people and mm-hmm. then <laughs> i was thinking you guys like you guys you guys are making me racist. Like, I, you're, I, you're the it. one that just brought it up, dude. You, like, you, you, like, I can't stop thinking. That was se- sexist there. So that <laughs> yeah. I, right no, you, like, I, I like that we're covering all the bases, though. In this yeah, case. No, but it's also just, you doing it. <laughs> you no, brought it like, up and then kept talking. <laughs> no, just, <laughs> <laughs> trying to help, but also no, but it's like, I, yourself. I, I, I didn't think about all this, like, racial, like, subtext to what i'm saying until you bring it up you know what i mean yeah i mean good i feel like you're making me more racist no i mean also i mean it's good to be aware of yeah, that making you more aware but yeah i was just coincidentally racist you know what i mean you see yeah so you see how intertwined it is no it's like <laughs> society. oh this is hard it's like like i'm playing whack-a-mole that you know what sense. i mean well yeah it depends on yeah and with. one of the moles turned out to be like a racist mole. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was just coincidence. Mm-hmm. You could have been any other person who coincidentally also likes watermelon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. Okay. However, just the circumstances yeah. don't so, look good for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm a victim. Right. For sure, sure, sure. Like, when you think about this it, this is your basement, Swilly, <laughs> in your pockets. So I give this. Do you like bandanas or at all? Or? Yeah, I like to put a little bandana on. So. Oh, this is a podcast gift. Banda- yeah, this is a podcast Ooh, gift. Ooh, thank you. I. Mhm. I do my best. <laughs> you have a gun? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is that real? No, put it back. Put it down. Can I see it? Is it? That's not. That's a toy gun. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, there's a gun. Um, Bumble wouldn't let me post a picture with it. Good. <laughs> Why? What? Explain. I was trying to Before post I, a yeah. picture of the podcast. Uh huh. And it was like, there's a gun in it. And I was like, oh. oh in the background. No. And then I just oh. reposted it and then they let me do it. So. <laughs> There we go. Maybe the girls will think I'm fucking crazy. You know what I mean, this guy's got a gun. 
I look hot in my tender bod. I look like Aaron Scarborough called me an e boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we shout out your Venmo. Your your show. You do. You do. We have you do modeling. You the Hill and I improv. What the I, fuck were you? What? It's you just turn into that one thing. Like you know when you with yeah. So yeah, the Hill and I. Um, it's like uh, the my duo that I do for improv that um i just put out a jar and just let random people write their name in um because i was just uh before i had to be like kind of thrown into spots where i just had to kind of hop on stage and do a set with people and then i was like oh i can do this i think i pretty much perform with anyone and latch on to whatever's going on um and i open it up to the audience members too so that's that's when i was in chicago Mid July, yeah, mid July for best night ever. You, That's what I did. Is, it was fun. Do you and I had to follow you, David Cross, you, which was really great. I love David. Cross. Really? Yeah, <laughs> he was well because the, the show was like, oh, there's gonna be a special guest, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't, I don't know. I don't had no I idea like who David I would Cross. think it would be, but it was like, and I got there and was like, oh, because I went with Sh- uh, Shuji and we both had our set. So I'm saying you, that David Cross opened for me. Do you as well, um, technically because he was supposed to go at huh? last, but then they bumped him up. I followed with improv, which was because that's best night ever is a mainly a stand up show, so I was the first improv in it, and then I also had to <laughs> follow David Cross. So it was fun. Humble brag. Yeah, yeah. And the person that I did it with was like an audience member who, had, for the most part, no performing. So mm-hmm. just like we're adults playing pretend, so it's pretty fun. I like it a lot, and it's much easier to plan because it's just me, and I have to bring a jar, and people are already there. Right. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Um, but yeah, what else was there? Modeling, yeah, I do here and there. Don't do as much. But uh, I mean, do you want to shout anything out? Or... Oh, was it like, uh, do you you're a fan of stand up? Uh yeah, I like it. I've always watched like as a kid. I watched like Comic View and stuff and Comedy you, Central. You, I mean, like, you... next last Comic Standing. Um, but I like appreciate. it. I think I also just like being able to come to a thing that I'm not expected to do anything because I already do a lot. Mm-hmm. And I just be like, because the pandemic took away like performing. Because, uh, twenty nineteen, I did, um, and putting some act like um one like sketch show in there. I did ninety to ninety five shows, but ninety five to hundred like sets because there was multiple teams that I was on in the same show. Damn. Yeah, so it was about thirteen different groups I ended up with. So and I was also the only improviser all through the major improv things, teaching at one and performing at two. So. It's like uh, you like. Uh, <laughs> I earned my rest, <laughs> but still kept going. Do you like? And um, stuff. What do you think about the collaborative nature? Improv people seem happier. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think improv because there's also like some sure. theater people. Not all. Not all theater people. There's some that that uh, improv does reside a lot of fakeness and sweeping under the rug. Where I don't. I feel like after being around for at least like two years or so, stand up doesn't do. As much, it's easier to notice that I, where improv is like we have to be friends in a team, I, and I, I learned know. I learned the hard way. <laughs> I know Matt murdered a couple people, but, but he's hey, really good at yes, this. and a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and it? also his basement's available for rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that? Oh, not, it, not in, to that extreme. But. Improv is a cult. Yeah, um, I yeah, I wish I could disagree. But improv is a cult. Theater people part. are gay and stand up. <laughs> stand up guys are assholes. I don't know. Here we go. Some, stand up. I think yeah. A racist. In between, which but there I feel like um, I don't know what the other cities are like, but yeah, Casey has a lot of crossover where um, people do both, so that's also good. What's what's good the bad thing about stand up? I don't know. I'm so into it. Competitive backstabbers. I don't know. Uh no. Well, because I've noticed, like, it's all, it's individual, but it's still, like, um, I see. people have, for the most part, some people are rooting for you, and some people aren't, because yeah. you've got that competitiveness, so it's just one person where improv has, yeah, a team where you can have, you could just be, there's a couple of people who've done just, like, one, just themselves solo, so then they create a bunch of different no. characters they have to hop between. Improv. But there can be about, like, seven, maybe, like, ten people. Improv that, that I feel like is popular, and is, like, uh, good, is, I mean podcasting if you can call that improv but also yeah. uh, you watch the college humor stuff not um here and there i used to watch 
So they, I've seen it, but have I'm you not. have you seen them do Dropout or any of their games or anything? No, I think I watched like one um, Donald Glover. Yeah. Well, they Glover. Yeah, Glover. Donald Glover. Yeah. yeah. I'll do, just can beat him. Do you do college humor or anything? Yeah, I think. Right. I think he was in a different. Sketch oh, a group. different thing. Yeah, okay. I, think, oh, I forget all... what it was called, but college yeah, humor, I mean, he was in college. The but... sketch videos are improv. People, I'm but... mi- missing. Yeah, like uh, what's the movie? Like, don't think twice. Was no good thing improv thing. Right. It it's gave all me right. some anxiety for a second, but it was still good. I liked it. All right. Well, I feel like it's an hour long. It's getting okay. longer. Cool. But uh, thanks so much for coming on. You're welcome. Thank thanks you for so having much. me. I have like at least a few listeners. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs>